China might just have released its most up-to-date and worthy competitor of the Tesla Model Y that we have ever seen since the inception of the EV market well over a decade ago. With competition and technological innovation rising in mainland China with a record number of EV startups at play, it has been a long time coming for somebody to challenge the throne of the Model Y, which was officially the best-selling new vehicle in 2022. And although prices have come down significantly, most electric vehicles, especially for folks in China, are still very much unaffordable until now. Expo Motors, a Chinese EV startup going head-to-head -head with Tesla's autonomous driving technology, is about to launch the G6 SUV at the end of this month. And looking at the spec sheet, this vehicle could be the best electric vehicle launched in China, not only by Expo Motors, but by any other homegrown EV startup. In this video, I want to explain exactly why that could be the case by looking into the spec sheets, the pricing, and the technology behind the G6, and as well as comparing it to the Model Y, which obviously has been top of the ranks when it comes to compact SUVs. But as usual, folks, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So to start things off, let's understand what exactly the Xpeng G6 even is, what market it's trying to target, and how it fits into the overall EV picture in China. You see, the Xpeng G6 is what many would consider to be the make or break vehicle for Expo Motors, which is a Chinese homebred startup that struggled throughout 2022 to grow sales. The company only sells a sedan by the name of the P7 and a compact sedan by the name of the P5, which ended up not doing so hot after marketing slumps and mishandling of the company's own brand architecture. And with the G6 being built on a completely new platform that Xpeng calls SEPA 2.0, it can offer lower cost, higher efficiency, and most importantly, a lower mile per kilowatt hour and most importantly a lower cost to the end user and that right there is exactly what separates the g6 from the rest of the competition because looking at the g6 head-on it is essentially a mid-size suv that is of a similar proportion to the tesla model y it includes Xpeng's signature robotic face a sloping yet high roof line short front and rear overhangs, broad shoulders, and an adaptive electric tail. And not only from the images and videos we have so far does the G6 look quite handsome and comparing to designs of German automakers like Mercedes and Porsche, but the technology this vehicle hosts is also industry leading in many aspects. First of all, it uses an 800 volt high voltage SIC platform, which allows the vehicle to charge at almost 480 kilowatts. And this results in a top end range equaling 469 miles on a single charge. This range estimate came from the China CLTC test cycle and a maximum charging speed of around 186 miles in 10 minutes. And you get all of this at a starting price that was just released of 31,000 USD, which converts to around 225,000 Chinese won. And those numbers right there are pretty darn impressive because the base model Tesla Model Y starts at 261,000 won, which equates to around $38,000, which means you're getting almost a 40,000 RMB discount on the base model Xpeng G6 with better range, higher voltage charging, and in some cases, better looks. And believe it or not, folks, a 15% cost reduction is a pretty big deal to the Chinese consumer, which is typically a household that is spending money very cautiously and budgeting every single line item for the month. Now, pre-sales for the G6 have just started in June, meaning the price point that we're seeing right now of 31,000 US dollars could change in the very near future when deliveries start in July. 
But this kind of discount compared to the Model Y is a pretty big deal, especially if you take into account the fact that Xpeng has its own in-house autonomous driving software that in some cases is actually performing better in China than Tesla self-driving. And that happens to be because Xpeng's XNGP software is the first government authorized autonomous driving scheme in China right now. Unlike Tesla's FSD, Xpeng system actually uses LiDAR technology to read the images and objects around the vehicle. In some cases, this can actually offer benefits even if the upfront cost of the technology and the bulkiness can be slightly higher. And because the Xpeng G6 is a brand new platform, it is going to be equipped with the hardware and software to support the fifth generation of Xpeng's autonomous driving system. Just like FSD, the company's system can recognize traffic lights by lane and can start and stop automatically while assisting drivers on regular roads as well as highways. At a price point of $31,000, access to software like this could be a massive game changer for Xpeng, whose customer base right now is focused on technology, technology, and technology. And in terms of trim options, the G6 is going to take a more unique approach compared to the rest of the industry by offering multiple battery chemistries on the market simultaneously. The very base model is going to have a 66 kilowatt hour LFP battery, which is lithium iron phosphate. And the more expensive top end model is going to have an 87 and kilowatt hour battery with nickel manganese cobalt. With its fast charging capabilities, 300 kilometers of range can be achieved in 10 minutes, and energy consumption sits at around 13.2 kilowatt hours for every 100 kilometers. That is pretty efficient and one of the top most efficient vehicles on the EV market today. However, the Tesla Model Y rear-wheel drive version does edge the G6 out a little bit with a 12.5 kilowatt hour consumption for 100 kilometer. And similar to Tesla's approach, the Xpeng G6 will have a CIB battery to body integration technology, which basically means it's going to have a structural battery pack that is integrated into the chassis itself. This increases torsion rigidity, reduces body roll, and in terms of safety, adds a lot of crumple zone structure, which also happens to reduce the risk of a rollover in a side crash. Now, Obviously, a lot of these numbers are simply on paper, and we still have to see a lot of these vehicles get into the hands of reviewers to understand the full story. However, it's pretty clear that Xpeng has figured out a good recipe to attract customers and boost its sales, whether it be through its new SEPA 2.0 structure or the marketing tactics and hiring of new leadership. Xpeng is definitely understanding where it's missed at over the past couple of years and trying to launch a new platform. The starting price of the G6 is simply extremely good. And if it holds on for the next few years, chances are it is going to pull away buyers from the likes of NIO, Li Auto, and Tesla Model Y. Because right now, even NIO's smallest crossover SUV, the EC6, starts at around $52,000 pre-subsidy. So what do you guys think? Is the G6 a worthy competitor to the Model Y? And is this going to be the vehicle that brings Xpeng out from its current slump in 2023? As usual, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.